I wanted to correct something I said earlier. I was thinking it was the black and um, reproduced at Washington County High School, especially at, at Washington County High School. The reason they did not make a white paint. Not reintroduced either? No, so especially that's the only note they had. What is that about their 40? Again, Dr. White. You have to have 40 in a subgroup. That's at each school. For it to apply to school. Um, where some of them have five, some of them have, I think, Washington County High School has a subgroup of 40 plus. I'm not real sure about that. I'm, I'm almost positive on that, and that's why it, it caught me. They would have enough in that subgroup. That's why we don't have we don't have anything on ELL when you see these reports. It's because we don't have enough in that subgroup for it to count. So if other schools had had more students in those areas, they might have been moved just like Washington High School. It's just right. they didn't have enough, but overall the system did. So. Well, I'm to the action items. Um, action item number one, employees with visitation teacher at Fuji High School. It's a sanitary staff recommendation. I recommend that the board employ Rodney Jackson for the position of civil education teacher at Crookdale High School, effective at the beginning of the 2009-2010 school year. You heard the recommendation from the superintendent's now motion. Do you make the motion? Is that second? I'll second. Mr. Beck, the second. Discussion? I'll second. Let me ask Luke to all this to see what's in here.
Action Item Number Three: Employee ARI Fair School Literacy Coach Leroy High School. Senator recommendation. I recommend that the board transfer <coughs> Kathy Alden to the position of ARI Fair School Literacy Coach at Leroy High School, effective at the beginning of the 2009-2010 school year. Any recommendation at that motion? I'll make the motion. Each makes the motion. Did that second? I'll second. Make the second. Discussion. Tell us a little about this position, Mr. Savage. Or Mr. Massey. Mr. Savage. This was a grant that was awarded to the Leroy High School Qualified for uh, by means of being in school improvement. Um, and I'll let Mr. Massey take it from there. ARI PAL, that's Project for Adolescent Literacy, that's what that acronym is. That's the reading initiative. This is really applying some of those concepts to grades 4 through 12. Currently, the ARI coach that we have at different campuses is only they are restricted working K through 3. But this position works for grades 4 through 12, and it's a bit of a misnomer in saying well, it's a literacy coach so that they're, they're a reading coach just like the ARI and K3. This is really a teacher mentor position on best practices in effective instruction and it's got several components but the biggest component is called strategic teaching which uh, focuses on uh, teaching strategies that connect students to prior knowledge and engage them in their students in the instructional process so it's, it segments a, a, a lesson down into smaller bits uh, of instructional uh, outcomes. So it's, it's, they are not teaching reading, they're really working with teachers on delivering more effective instruction. It's really the, the outcome is to improve uh, student learning and literacy, but the uh, practice is actually someone who's working side by side with those classroom teachers on purposefully planning lessons that engage students in the learning. It's, that's the whole focus of it. So they deal with the teachers more so than the they, they are uh, almost exclusively, except when they're in modeling these strategies for the teachers, but they are, it's, it's more of a teacher mentor position than it is a person who's working with individual students. And who awards these grants? It comes out of the ARI office and they've got a kind of a sub.